Sarah was a kind person. She always said yes to her friends and family. Can you help me move? Her friend asked. Yes, I can help, Sarah said. Can you babysit my kids? Her sister asked. Yes, I can babysit, Sarah said. Sarah's days were filled with helping others. She was tired but happy. One day, Sarah's boss asked, Can you work on Saturday? Sarah wanted to say no. She wanted to rest, but she said, Yes, I can work. Sarah felt unhappy. She wanted to learn to say no. Sarah felt overwhelmed. She had too many tasks to do. Her friends and family asked for help every day. She couldn't say no. She wanted to help everyone. One day, Sarah woke up feeling tired. She didn't want to get out of bed. She thought, why am I doing all this? Why can't I say no? Sarah realized she needed to change. She needed to learn to say no. Sarah felt overwhelmed. She didn't know what to do. She needed advice. Sarah went to Rachel, her best friend. Rachel was wise. Rachel, I need your help, Sarah said. I'm tired of saying yes to everyone. I want to learn to say no. Rachel listened carefully. I understand, she said. Saying no can be hard, but it's important for self-care. Rachel shared her own story. I used to say yes to everyone, but I learned to say no. Now I have time for myself. Sarah felt hopeful. How did you do it? She asked. Rachel smiled. Start small. Practice saying no in little things. Set boundaries. Remember, no is a complete sentence. Sarah felt empowered. She could do this. Sarah decided to start small. She practiced saying no in low-stakes situations. At the grocery store, a stranger asked her to watch their cart while they grabbed something. Sarah usually would say yes, but today she said no, I'm in a hurry. The stranger looked surprised but understood. Sarah felt a rush of confidence. Next, Sarah told her co-worker, No, I can't attend the extra meeting today. I have too much work. Her co-worker nodded, respecting her boundary. Sarah realized saying no wasn't so hard. She felt more in control. That evening, Sarah's neighbor asked her to dog sit for a week. Sarah hesitated, remembering Rachel's advice. I'm sorry I have prior commitments, Sarah said firmly. Her neighbor understood, and Sarah felt proud. Sarah's yes to no transformation had begun. As she settled into her new habit, Sarah noticed more free time, less stress, increased self-respect. But challenges remained. Sarah's best friend, Emily, asked her to plan Emily's birthday party. Can you do it? You're so organized, Emily said. Sarah hesitated. Torn between loyalty and her newfound boundaries, Sarah paused, weighing her options. She loved Emily, but planning a party would consume her entire weekend. Emily, I want to celebrate your birthday, but I can't plan the party, Sarah said, taking a deep breath. Emily looked disappointed, but you're so good at it, Sarah explained. I'm trying to set boundaries. I need time for myself. Emily understood, but Sarah felt guilty. Later, Emily texted, No worries, I get it. Let's just hang out on my birthday. Sarah smiled, relieved. Sarah realized saying no wasn't just about setting boundaries. It was about prioritizing herself. The next day, Sarah's mom asked her to help with household chores. Mom, I'm busy today, Sarah said gently. Her mom frowned. But I need your help. Sarah stood firm. I'll help tomorrow, but today I need time for myself. Her mom reluctantly agreed. Sarah felt empowered. 
As Sarah continued her yes-to-no journey, she encountered resistance from loved ones, guilt and self-doubt, surprising support from unexpected sources. But Sarah remained committed to her newfound boundaries. One evening, Sarah received an unexpected call from her ex-boyfriend, Alex. Hey, can we grab coffee? Alex asked. Sarah hesitated, unsure. Sarah hadn't spoken to Alex in two years. Their breakup was messy. Alex, I'm not sure, Sarah said, hesitant. Come on, we can catch up, Alex persisted. Sarah thought about her newfound boundaries. Was this a test? Alex, I'm busy, Sarah said firmly. Alex paused. You're still mad at me, aren't you? Sarah took a deep breath. I'm not mad, Alex. I'm just moving on. Alex sighed. Fine, maybe another time. Sarah felt relieved. Later, Rachel asked, How did it go with Alex? Sarah shared the conversation. Rachel beamed. You're growing, Sarah. Setting boundaries with someone who hurt you takes courage. Sarah smiled, proud. As Sarah continued her journey, she realized saying no wasn't selfish, it was essential. Boundaries attracted respectful people. Self-care was key to happiness. But new challenges emerged. Sarah's boss assigned her a high-stakes project. Sarah, this is a priority, her boss emphasized. Sarah felt overwhelmed. Sarah felt overwhelmed by the project's tight deadline. She knew she had to set boundaries. Boss, I understand the project's importance, but I need clarification on expectations, Sarah said. Her boss looked surprised. What do you mean? I want to ensure I deliver quality work. Can we discuss realistic deadlines and resources? Sarah asked. Her boss nodded. Let's review the project plan. Together, they outlined achievable milestones. Sarah felt empowered. That evening, Sarah received a text from her colleague, John. Hey, can you review my report? John asked. Sarah thought about her workload. She couldn't take on more. John, I'm on a deadline. Can someone else review it? Sarah replied. John understood. Sarah realized, setting boundaries at work boosted productivity. Clear communication prevented misunderstandings. Self-care wasn't just personal, it was professional. As Sarah maintained her boundaries, she noticed improved work-life balance, increased job satisfaction, enhanced reputation as a responsible professional. But Sarah faced another challenge. Her friend Emily asked her to join a weekend getaway. Emily, I love you, but I need downtime, Sarah said. Emily pouted. Come on, it'll be fun. Sarah stood firm. Sarah felt overwhelmed by the high-stakes project. She needed a plan. Boss, I'll deliver quality work, but I need realistic deadlines, Sarah said confidently. Her boss nodded. All right, let's discuss timelines. Sarah negotiated a manageable schedule, ensuring time for self-care. That evening, Sarah meditated to calm her mind, read a book for pleasure, prepared a healthy dinner. Sarah realized self-care wasn't indulgent, it was essential. Next morning, Sarah tackled the project with clarity and focus. As she worked, Sarah received a call from her sister, Jessica. Sarah, can you watch my kids tonight? Jessica asked. Sarah checked her schedule. Jessica, I have a deadline to meet. Jessica pouted, but I need your help. Sarah stood firm. I'll help another time, but tonight I need to focus. Jessica understood, and Sarah felt guilty free. Sarah's boundaries were paying off improved relationships, increased productivity, enhanced self-respect, but a new test emerged. Sarah's company announced layoffs. Rumors swirled, 
Would Sarah's boundaries protect her, or would she lose her job? Rumors of layoffs spread like wildfire. Sarah's colleagues panicked. Did you hear? Half the department is getting cut, someone whispered. Sarah focused on her work, shielding herself from gossip. Her boss called a meeting. Reorganization is necessary, he announced. Some positions will be eliminated. Sarah felt anxious but reminded herself. She'd set boundaries, delivered quality work, prioritized self-care. The meeting ended, and Sarah returned to her desk. An email from HR awaited her. Sarah, your position has been eliminated. Sarah's heart sank. But she took a deep breath and acknowledged her emotions, focused on the present, started updating her resume. Sarah realized. Boundaries prepared her for uncertainty. Self-care gave her strength. Resilience would carry her through. As Sarah packed her belongings, colleagues approached. We'll miss you, they said. Sarah smiled. I'll miss you too. Sarah left the office, feeling a mix of emotions. As she walked home, she reflected. Her boundaries had prepared her. Self-care had given her strength. Resilience would carry her through. Sarah arrived home, opened her journal, and wrote, Today, I lost my job, but I gained. Freedom to explore new paths, confidence in my abilities, clarity on my priorities. Next morning, Sarah updated her LinkedIn profile, reached out to network contacts, explored job opportunities. A week later, Sarah received an interview invitation. The company valued work-life balance and employee well-being. Sarah nailed the interview. A few days later, the CEO called. Sarah, we want you on our team. Sarah accepted, feeling thrilled. This new chapter brought better work-life balance, a supportive team, opportunities for growth. Sarah realized losing her job was a blessing. Boundaries had prepared her. Self-care had given her strength. Sarah's new role brought fulfillment and balance. She reflected, setting boundaries saved me. I learned to prioritize self-care, communicate assertively, trust my instincts. Sarah realized her journey wasn't just about saying no, but about embracing self-love, cultivating resilience, discovering purpose. As Sarah looked back, she saw a transformed person, stronger relationships, a clearer sense of direction. One evening, Sarah received a call from Emily. Sarah, I'm proud of you, Emily said. You've grown so much. Sarah smiled. Thanks, Emily. I've learned to prioritize myself. Emily asked, what's your secret? Sarah replied, boundaries, self-care, embracing no. Emily nodded. I need to learn that too. Sarah realized her story could inspire others. Sarah's story inspired others. She began sharing her journey writing blog posts, speaking at events, coaching friends and colleagues. Sarah realized her struggles were not unique. Boundaries were essential. Self-care was contagious. As Sarah looked to the future, she saw a community of empowered individuals. Setting boundaries became second nature. Self-love and resilience flourished. Sarah's transformation was complete, from overwhelmed to balanced, from uncertain to confident, from people-pleasing to self-loving. The once fragile Sarah now stood strong. Sarah's journey taught her, no is a complete sentence. Boundaries set her free. Self-care is essential, and to everyone around her. Empowerment comes from within. Resilience is a choice. Love starts with self.